J and A beer, um, John and Arthur beer, uh, is the brand in this bowl. Uh, was the, the second firm in violin dealing in London after the Hills. Um, Hill made their own bows. They had a very big bow workshop where at least a dozen of different makers were active. Um, J and A beer bought their bows, and this bow is made in France. It's made by Claude de Thomasin, uh, was one of the, mm -hmm. uh, the important bow makers in the first half of the 20th century in Paris. Um, very typical is the round front side of the uh, ferrule, of the ring. Um, we come back to Francois Tuit again. This is a feature which Francois Tuit invented um, uh, in his bows somewhere around 1800 to 1810. And he, uh, he did this not frequently, but regularly. And Claude de Thomasin copied this, and uh, through almost all of his work, he made this round front side of the ring. Um, the bow is in very good condition, almost new. Like said, Jan, I think that uh, the lapping and uh, even the, and the leather maybe not. Could be. Could be that even this leather is original and that the bow virtually was never played at all. That's very beautiful Pernambuco wood. Can imagine that somebody once bought it and liked it that much that he did not want to use it and put it in, in a collection and never got it out of the box. But it's uh, definitely um, a Claude de Thomasin bow made somewhere around 1925, 1930.